Hello, it's Aldan Nivak here. We're going to look at solving quadratic equations by factorising. It's a common method used for solving quadratics, such as this one, example one. So, to factorise, we set up two brackets. x times x is x squared, so we can put x in at the beginning of each bracket. So, the first bracket times the second bracket equals zero find out what goes into the brackets. First of all, list the factors of 6. That's the factor of the constant term. So we've got 1 and 6, minus 1 and minus 6. Uh, we've got 3 and 2, and then minus 3 and minus 2. We're looking for a pair of factors that actually add together to give plus 5, to give the middle term the coefficient of x there. So we can see, looking at our list, that 3 and 2 fit the bill. So we can put that in there, plus 3 there, and plus 2 there. So those two brackets will multiply together to give x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So then we reason that if x plus 3 equals 0, then x equals minus 3, and if x plus 2 equals 0, then x equals minus 2. So there are two solutions, x equals minus 2 and x equals minus 3. The second example, we have x squared minus 8x plus 12. So we're looking for the factors of 12 that add together to give minus 8. If it's minus 8, then it's plus 12. Um, we think that the factors we're looking for have got to be both negative. So 1 and 12 won't fit the bill. Neither will minus 1 and minus 12. So they don't add together to give minus 8. Um, 2 and 6, no, that gives plus 8, minus 2 and minus 6, minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12, and minus 2 add minus 6 is minus 8. So there we are. So there are two brackets. So we've got x minus 2 and x minus 6. And then we reason, that should be x minus 6, then we reason that either x minus 2 equals 0, in which case x equals 2, or x minus 6 equals 0, in which case x equals 6. Reason being that if x minus 2 times x minus 6 is 0, then one of them is equal to 0. So if two brackets multiply together to give 0, then one of the brackets must be equal to 0. Yeah. Next example, example 3. Yeah, we've got x squared. We're sticking to unit, uh, uh, single x squared, one x squared for these first examples. Uh, x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. So we've got two brackets, x in each of them. And we're looking for the factors of minus 15 that add together to give plus 2. This is minus 15, we've got to have one negative factor and one positive factor. So if you look at 3 and 5, um, for it to be minus 15, yeah, we've got to have minus 3 plus 5. And that seems to work. We don't have to go any further. Minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2, so that works. They are factors of 15. So then we reason that either x minus 3 equals 0, in which case x equals 3, or x plus 5 equals 0, in which case x equals minus 5. So there are two solutions to that. Example 4, we've got x squared plus x minus 30 equals 0. So we set up our two brackets. 
and we're looking for factors of minus 30 that add together to give plus 1. So um, if it's minus 30, 1 must be negative, 1 must be the positive. So almost by inspection we can see that that fits the bill. Minus 5 times plus 6 is minus 30 and minus 5 plus 6 is plus 1. So we can just write that as that and then if x minus 5 equals 0, x equals plus 5. If x plus 6 equals 0, x equals minus 6. So two solutions there, x equals 5 and x equals minus 6. Example 5 squared minus 12x plus 32 equals 0. Again, we want the facts of 32 that add together to minus 12. And we settle on minus 4 and minus 8. Because 4 times 8 is 32. Both negatives give the positive, and they add together to give minus 12. So that x equals 4, or x equals 8. And there are two solutions. So that's using factors to solve expression of the type ax squared equals bx plus c, where a is 1. Next time we'll look at the use of the quadratic formula, which is another way of uh, solving quadratics, and then finally for quadratics completing the square. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.